wings report in. Red leader standing by. Years after the raid on Macon, we're heading up an all-out assault on Peleliu Island. No POWs to rescue this time. Our mission? Take the airfield and cripple their supply network. Alongside familiar faces, fresh-faced recruits. The older guys like Miller, Sergeant Sullivan, and myself. We're known as the old breed. Old. We're not even out of our 20s. If you say so. Hello, dear viewers, and to this get me here, and welcome to World at War, episode two. There they go. Fast as they gonna know what hit them. Damn right they're not. The Corsair's gonna the fuck them up. Miller, we hit any resistance on the beach? You get on that radio and call for immediate missile support. Don't think twice. Over. Got it. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna get that hash closed, buddy. Oh boy. Oh, we're sailing with Salem? I don't know if that's a good omen or a bad. He said keep your damn head down! It's like I said in the last episode, Call of Duty games just don't reach this visceral style anymore. Hey, Japs! Have some fun! Who gotta love the fireworks? Not supposed to be resistance. Dude, we're in their turf. What did you think was gonna happen? You thought we were just gonna rile on in? Huh. I was about to say, I was gonna say, you think I was just gonna run on in. Then I was gonna say, I think it was just gonna roll on in. Put him down. It's like I said, Call of Duty games today, they don't reach this level of visceral, just visceral everything. Like, fix bayonets, use them if you have to. Pick it up. Push through their lives. <sighs> now look how beautiful this is. You know. Before Vanguard ruined this gun. Don't come near me. Got it. Go oh boy. That was close. I 
told you not to come near me. But did you listen? No. Yeah, fun fact about this gun. The reason that the machine, that the uh, magazine is on top. Oh, I love this music. Oh, this music always gets you pumped up. But yeah, uh, anyway, uh, the reason that the magazine for for the Type 99 is on top is because it'll use a a spring that isn't as strong, and it relies more on the gravity to feed the rounds. I am giving a lesson here. Oh, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, that's too close. Okay. As I was saying, so, yeah, the magazine has a spring that is a little cheaper to make. But the, since it's, but because it's, of the way it's facing, it, the gravity feeds the rounds more, so... It gives it a good way to feed in the rounds while also making a gun that's fairly cheap to make. Which... It was a really good gun. Like, for an LMG, it was accurate as heck. Now, yes, you have the downside that you have to put the sight on the side of it, but it's still... But it still ended up being pretty accurate. Oh, I will never not like, I will never not love the music of this game. Wait, don't I, couldn't I pick up a flamethrower? It's just I remember Boy, don't make me bonsai you. Ooh, trench gun. Wait, where? Ah, there you are. And notice how it's not a German one? <laughs> yeah! Believe it or not, German weapons were not in Japan. Oh boy. Schnitzel. You know, in World War One, the Germans said this gun was unfair. Also, keep in mind that in World War One, the Germans were using mustard gas and flamethrowers. Oh, oh, you surrendering? Look, I'm trying to help your friend surrender. See? He surrendered. Ah! Sullivan. Sullivan, whatever you do, don't go out there. That ah, was close. Oh boy. Did 
There we go. Call that in there. Hi, how you guys doing? I'm deaf. Praise me, for I am Lord Death. Yeah. Gladly. Yeah, fun fact also. Uh, in World War II, the... Germans, even with the short barrels, would tear the Japanese tanks apart. Like, the Japanese tanks were pretty weak. Now, in Germany, the Shermans weren't as effective until they got the bigger gun. Well, they were effective, just not as effective that they could have been. But... Yeah, in Japan, the Japanese tanks basically didn't stand a chance. Boo! Outstanding, Marines. Out fucking standing. Good work. Just in case. Everyone on me. Sure, the 